Hello and welcome to the tech series. I am Mark, your technical instructor. Today we will be supporting a filigree type ring. So let's begin. So firstly, I already opened up uh, Rhino. This is where we will be putting the support. Next, I will import the model. This type and hit open press ok and wait until our model appears on the screen so I'll go to the perspective view here is our model filigree type ring check so it's still separated so now I will hit control A on the keyboard and type on the command join okay so next thing we need to do is check the model so I will go to top grab my corner to corner tool and cover the full model go to perspective view again and show shaded mode so I will drag my plane up so here is our first layer our first layer for support continue up and then you will see this one so this will be our next layer to support go up more and it looks good so let's start the supporting firstly I will go to front in the command line type bell support choose the mesh the mesh is the model and then hit enter so on this one I will use one point to end point support with a radius of 0.5 millimeter as the trunk so I will hold down shift to make it straight I will click somewhere here and then it will lock on the position or on the angle so I will click up to here and then we have our trunk so the next one will be the branches I will go to perspective view I will uh, change the ridges to 0.25 and then select this ones so as you see it this is the first layers on our when we check with plane so I will put supports here here and lastly here okay so next thing I need to do I will put supports here on the sides I will go again to front view take the bell support choose the mesh and press enter when done so I will hold again this angle and then click Okay. on the perspective view I will definitely put the supports here and then I will go to my four viewports to check so that it will be uniform or straight so in here look straight click zoom in to this perfect perspective view select the two branches and mirror so I will make copies of the branches on the opposite side so type in zero hold down shift and then click so now I have the copies on the other side okay so again 
I need to put support again on this side. So for that, I will add again bell support and press enter. Now I will not use the one point to end point. I will use one point. I will adjust the radius to point three, since uh, it will be really long from here up to this side, from here up to here. Okay. So go to perspective view. Put this port here. Click here and here okay again select this three and then mirror zero hold the shift to put it in place then that's it you can remove the plane and see for the last part I will delete the other mesh and then put some supports also on here. I will go to the bottom view, zoom in, bell support, select the mesh and enter. So I will change the radius to 0.25. And then put some supports here. So I will mirror this once again on the other side. Zero. Hold down shift and then put it in place. So I will go back to the perspective view to see my model. So there you go. The last thing we need to do is control A, select all the model, type in join. Okay, so this model is one now. All the meshes are joined. So when you select it, it's one. So the last thing I will do now is uh, select the model type export export save the model and then that's it I will check the model now So there you go, There's, this is the supported model we finished before and ready for printing. Thank you and have a good day.